Minister Becky Taylor very conveniently says that he has had no idea that the head of the Namibian police as well as heads in the police, the South African police, met in what is called no man's land on the Namibian border. And this should be very concerning to people knowing that meetings like this took place, that the Namibian government is contradicting what the South African government has said, and that there's a huge cover-up ongoing with regards to this. And as usual, the, the link to this article will be in the description below this video, as well as in the first comment, you will also find my other social media links there. <laughs> and in this headline from IOL, it says, Becky Taylor not aware of the no man's land meeting with Namibians over Farmgate. And Police Minister Becky Tellez distanced himself from a meeting reportedly between his officers and their Namibian counterparts where details of President Soroma Pozas farm robbery involving millions of US dollars were apparently discussed. And in a recent statement, the Namibian Police Inspector General Sebastian Indaitunga claimed the meeting between the officers and the South African Police in a place called No Man's Land was on June 19th 2020 and there's a, a, a picture of the inspector general and then it says uh, it is worth noting that indeed the two police authorities met on June 19, 2020 at what is termed no man's land near Noordover to share operational information pertaining to Mr. David Emanuela and other Namibian nationals suspected to have stolen money in South Africa and fled to Namibia. It should be clear that the meeting venue was determined by restriction measures of COVID-19 at the time, as if that is relevant. And if anyone cares about that, the meeting resolved for the two police authorities to investigate the matter within their jurisdictions. The Namibian police force in identified individuals, bank accounts and various properties, including lodges, houses and vehicles suspected to have been purchased with proceeds of crime and consulted the Office of the Prosecutor General to consider a preservation order of the assets, said Hindaitunga. However, there was no case in South Africa, as Ramaphosa claims he had only reported the incident to his head of security. Neither SARS nor the South African Reserve Bank have confirmed whether they will investigate if Ramaphosa had declared the foreign currency. Silence! You see, now that, that's when you realize that all these organizations are captured by foreign entities that we don't have a government, we have no sovereignty, we have no military, we actually don't have a police service. Uh, approach for comment on Monday on Ndaitunga's remarks, Sely was quick to distance himself. Minister Sely is not aware of this said meeting. The re revelations of the meeting comes that emerged that the South African government snubbed their Namibian counterparts when they obtained a preservation order to seize assets they believe were proceeds of the crime at Ramaphosa's farm. The South African government had repeatedly denied being requested to share information regarding the incident until the Namibian government contradicted them. The Justice Department has since confirmed it was engaging through diplomatic channels with Namibia to establish if it had a record of the request to exchange information regarding the incident. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon. Till the next video.